Good morning everyone, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries. I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and come follow me below in the links. The links are all there. It's half term this week, that's why I've just not been able to vlog and get here as much as I wanted to. But I brought both of my kids down today to get them some fresh air. Um, the last two days in London it's just rained continuously. So I wouldn't have been able to do anything here anyway. Um, my polytunnel has arrived. I do have a polytunnel. I've just not brought it today to put it up because, again, I've got the kids with me and it just doesn't really make sense. Um, but it is going to go down here. The area is poised and ready to um, get a polytunnel put on it. So <laughs> um, it's a two by two polytunnel. It's a bit of a square and I think this is going to be perfect. nice to get the kids here actually and just get them a bit of fresh air they haven't seen the plot for a while so they're quite impressed with the archways and stuff um which is quite nice nice to impress your kids isn't it um i brought with me some of this stuff which is a weed membrane um and this is what's going to go basically in my polytunnel um to stop the weeds coming up and i'm going to build raised beds on top of it um i think it's quite good but I haven't tried it, so I will try it. It's from b and I was also thinking of um, where I'm going to make the paths at the end of the plot. I'm actually going to use this as well um, to stop any of the weeds. What are they doing? Yeah, to stop any of the weeds coming up. I think weed membrane is probably the best thing to use in a, an allotment path, um, especially if you're going to put wood chip or something over it, just because it keeps the weeds at bay. And this is 1 metre by 10 metres. You get quite a lot in here. I don't think it was that expensive, but it was a birthday present, so I don't know. I think about money. There is the spider of my absolute nightmare sitting up there in my shed. Um, I don't mind him living in my shed, don't get me wrong, but if he moves, I will probably scream. Look away now if you're afraid of spiders, but that is not spider, is it? That is a tarantula. That is a tarantula, guys. Sid's, Sid's been eating well. to do your paths in weather that's like wet like this because you can actually see which parts of your paths need doing up like for example just outside my shed has got really really muddy really quickly and I think it could do with some more wood chip but I wouldn't be able to see that in the summer because I'd be like nah it's fine but it's not fine so I'm going to top this bit up The wind has stopped. So windy today. Um, oh no, it's back again. <laughs> kids have just gone running off because obviously allotment plots are really safe for kids because they can just run around it I mean other than all the tools and the hazards and the ponds and stuff like that but my kids are older they know they know it's fine yeah it's just nice to get the paths done and then I just feel productive today even though I haven't done very much at all but it's looking good I 
I did sort out my strawberry bed a few months ago and um, it seems to become overgrown and crazy again and I don't feel like it's very healthy at all. I feel like a lot of the plants might be dying um, and if not dying, like finished. Do you know what I mean? Because they only last a few years, strawberry plants, don't they? It's just looking pretty knackered to be honest and I've got lots of weeds coming up. I've got a lot of ornamental looking grasses coming through it and some, you know, prickly things and stuff it's just not looking very happy so I might just go through it now and just see if I can tidy it up a little bit I'm not really sure why this bed is so neglected like I did do it recently and last year when I did it in the spring in like the autumn time and tidied it up it was fine for spring this year the weeds have just taken over you know what the more I'm pulling up the more I'm thinking something's not right in this bed I think it's like my new gardening intuition is like kicking in something doesn't feel right in this bed because I have sorted it out recently and I do feel like most of them have just died maybe it's a disease or something I don't know these plants do not seem healthy to me. I know they die back a bit in the winter and stuff and they grow back, I know that. But they're coming up in clumps. They're all just, look, there's nothing here. I've just got a feeling that disease has just ravaged through this. I do have a feeling that this bed might be a bit knackered. I might have to get something else in here and maybe I'll grow strawberries at home or something. But something's happened to this bed. I don't know what it is, but something's happened. I never know what it bloody is. Oh, I don't know, it's a garden. Maybe it just magically come back to life again. Sometimes things do, especially when I say they're dead. They like to prove me wrong and just randomly come back to life again. So I don't know. There might be hope. bed and how it's looking right now like I said I just feel like I've lost a load of plants um it just seems really weird isn't it where they've all gone I think they've all died just don't know where all the plants are but anyway this is just a bed that I never think about I always neglect my strawberry bed because I think why bother obviously I should bother so there we go it's a lesson to check your strawberry beds what are they doing now what am I raised? Two wild, wild children. I'm going to go home and sow some seeds because there's not much for me to do here and the kids are driving me mad. I might stop at the park on the way home actually. Let's sow some seeds. So we're home and I've decided not to sow any seeds because the weather has been really ridiculous. I don't know how windy it is where you are, but where I am in London, it has been quite windy. Um, so I'm quite glad I didn't put the polytunnel up this week as well because I think the polytunnel will need some time to settle into its new environment and not blow away. So I thought I'd just really quickly show you a little update on this courtyard area that I've got at home, which I'm going to be growing vegetables in this year. So this is what I've done so far. Not massively impressive, but I think you'll agree this is you know the ideas are starting to come together so just basically put a couple of hooks in and a bamboo cane and I put these and I thought these would be quite perfect for strawberries or maybe even little tumbling tomato plants or herbs things like that um, got some pallets here which I'm going to make a structure with and I've also got these pallets here and I thought these would be quite good as some sort of plant let me try and show you from a distance actually so imagine it's um, put onto the fence or the wall and then these are like got stuff to actually grow in. It's basically two little planters where I could have hanging things or some herbs in or something like that. So that's quite good, I thought. And then I've also gone with some grow bags. I'm going to try out different grow bags this year. So I've got a couple of these yellow ones, which are supposed to be for potatoes because... 
So there's your bag, like that. And then it's got this little flap here. To open. And you can basically get your potatoes out when your potatoes are grown because they grow underground, don't they? So it's a potato bag, basically. Um, and I've got two of those in yellow because nice and bright. And then I've got three of these more kind of like felt ones, which I think are supposed to be quite good for tomatoes and stuff like that. And they've got little labels at the front. Um, and they've also, they, I suppose you can do potatoes in them as well because they've got flaps as well. I don't know if you can see any of that because I don't know where the camera's pointing, but there we go. Um, so I've got three of those in traffic light colours. So we're going to keep things as bright and colourful out here as we can. So a couple of potato bags and then these ones here. I don't think they're massive, but I think they'll probably hold a pretty good tomato plant. So I think this area out here will come together quite quickly. I'm really hoping it will anyway. Um, and I'll be able to show you more and more updates as the year goes on. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. If you did, do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.